Can you believe that Apple is now the savior of the affordable desktop PC? A lot of talk going around about Mac minis. A lot. Apple! What a the fuck? Fun times in budget PC land because Linus from Linus Tech Tips just called Apple the savior of the affordable desktop PC. Yes, Linus, the guy who's responsible for literally building the Windows PC community from the ground up with his bare hands and clever segues to his sponsors just praised Apple's new M4 Mac Mini while saying this about AMD and Nvidia. You know, people ask me, why don't you do $500 build guides anymore? I can't cover stuff that doesn't exist. AMD and hasn't launched a Ryzen 3 in two full desktop generations now. That's Nvidia right. simply no longer makes a 50 class GPU on the desktop. They just don't have one. So why is a Windows PC fan like Linus so impressed with this magical little aluminum package? Why is Luke recommending the Mac Mini for personal local LLM work over Nvidia GPUs? Why are there so many comments from Windows PC guys purchasing the M4 Mac Mini for the first time? And why am I about to copy Linus's segue to our sponsor? Mini Sapuru, the new Mini 4 Pro Hub helps you save money on Mac Mini storage, by letting you install your own SSD and giving it a bunch of legacy ports like three USB-A ports, two SD card slots including micro, and an extra 4K 60Hz HDMI port and a cutout for the new power button. They also have the Mini 218B Pro Hub that has three USB-A ports with one having 10 gigabit speeds and an additional USB-C port with 10 gigabit speeds and again an SD and micro card slot. And like the Mini 4 Pro, it also has an upgradable SSD. So go Go ahead and check them both out using the links below or the pinned comment. All right, all right, thanks Ben. Enough fun and games, let's get into the five major reasons why the new M4 Mac Mini is so special. Getting into reason number one, I wanna start right off with Luke from LTT's biggest reason. What I will say is what's really popular right now is Mac Minis because of the shared memory. Mac studio as well because that one you can configure with way more ram mm, nice and it's, you don't need a crazy amount though the m4 it tops out at 32 gigs that's pretty good because of the combination of crazy low base price snappy performance with optimized apple silicon and the magic of how apple's unified memory works the Mac Mini is turning out to be the perfect little personal local LLM machine. The Mac Mini's unified memory is shared, so it essentially acts like VRAM, so you can get 32 gigs of VRAM with this Mac Mini for a thousand bucks, which is the same amount of VRAM as you get on Nvidia's new RTX 5090 desktop GPU, while obviously nowhere near as fast in terms of graphics performance. But with innovations in the LLM space like Deep Sync R1, which is open source and runs very efficiently and doesn't require a ton of GPU performance, the M4 Mac Mini has become perfect for running local LLMs compared to building huge and expensive, complicated desktop PCs with Nvidia GPUs. And it's not just Luke. Many people on the local LLM subreddit are talking about and testing the new M4 Mac Mini, being impressed by how efficient it is compared to huge GPUs, especially since you can buy a bunch of these and connect them as a cluster, like Alex Zskind recently did on YouTube. And even better, you can get this Mac Mini with the M4 Pro chip version, which gets up to 64 gigs of VRAM, which is a lot better while definitely being a bit more expensive. But this X user showed off a cluster of these M4 Pro Mac Minis connected with Thunderbolt 5, which is awesome. And it's reasons like this why Luke said this on the wind show. My, my main point here is that you can go as low as something like that. The vast majority of people that aren't running this for like a group or a team of people, you run one person, I really think like, the, the Mac mini keep it cheap play if you're going for one person is, is not bad. Now for reason number two, this thing is ridiculously powerful in terms of everyday usage and performance work as well, especially for a price as low as 569 bucks on Amazon right now. Link below, it's just a crazy good deal. You pretty much have the fastest single core performance out there when you think in terms of Geekbench and also Cinebench 2024 tests. Even the best Intel and AMD desktop CPUs cannot get anywhere close to the single core performance of the M4 Mac Mini. 
This means that everyday tasks and apps will be snappier. Web browsing will be super quick and reliable like we see in the Speedometer 3.0 web browser benchmark. You get multi-core performance of over 15,000 points, which is really impressive, especially for this tiny machine, more than enough for most regular people out there beating out Intel's Lunar Lake chip and being almost as good as the best Snapdragon X Elite chip, but it actually beats it in the multi-core stress test in Cinemesh 2024. But when you look at real world tasks, this thing is actually even faster. Just look at Figma web design, faster on the M4 Mac Mini. It also has quite a bit more graphics performance, like take a look at Steel Nomad Lite. It's also much faster for video editing, like in terms of exporting 4K HEVC footage, which is the most common format. And Alex Ziskin also did a huge comparison with mini PCs, comparing the Mac Mini against a bunch of the popular Windows options, and this dominated in almost every test. He ran a web tooling benchmark in which the base mini killed the rest of the mini PCs, which by the way are all around a thousand dollars or more, close to double the price of the Mac Mini, and this thing did it with the lowest power draw by far being so much more efficient. So definitely watch Alex's videos. I'll link them down in the description below. Now for reason number three, it's the fact that with all of that performance and efficiency, it's incredibly tiny. It fits in your hand, it can even fit into your pocket, and that's with the entire power supply and system, everything built into this small package. That makes it incredibly practical and simple for anybody buying this, regardless of your level of experience with tech. Simply buy it, plug it in, and bam, you have a full-fledged computer that's incredibly reliable with macOS software that'll perform great for your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your kids for at least a decade. And if you ever need to move it or take it with you, it's super portable, unlike moving a full, huge budget DIY desktop PC with tons of parts that can have issues, they can go bad, you have bad drivers, and everything else that goes along with that. And the size of this thing really just sells itself to the average user, barely taking up any desk space, and there are now so many accessories for it, like the hub that we mentioned earlier, as well as things like under desk mounts, or mounts on the back of your monitor, and so much more. Now for reason number four, this is one of Apple's most repairable Macs, since it's pretty easy to tear it down, and the SSD is now on its own little module, which means that if it ever fails, it'll be much easier to fix through Apple's D DIY repair portal. Or if you're smart and you wanna save money, you can actually buy some already available SSD modules online and perform a DFU reset to upgrade storage for a much lower price. It's also quite easy to tear this down and replace any potential broken parts like USB-C or anything else. So that's one less excuse for the budget PC community when it comes to buying this new Mac mini. And finally, for reason number Number five, the very low entry price makes it much more attainable than any other budget DIY PC out there. I mean, Linus and Luke couldn't even build a matching DIY PC system for the same price as the M4 Mac Mini when this thing first came out, and you gotta build that DIY setup yourself compared to literally just buying this and plugging it in. And especially in this economy where people are willing to spend less and less on tech while Nvidia and AMD are charging more and more, the $600 price tag for the M4 Mac Mini is a breath of fresh air, especially coming with 16 gigs of RAM, and you can choose where you spend your extra money on upgrades like the SSD, RAM, and let's say the gigabit ethernet port. But even at the base price, it's more than capable for most regular people to the point that DIY PC builders will probably start just recommending this Mac Mini to their family members, knowing that they won't be asked to do tech support or installation like what always happens with budget desktop PC systems. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and click subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.